we want to evaluate the 9 over 2. And what that means is we need to recognize the form it comes from. Because if we have an n and an r, then that will be n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial. So in this case, we can see n is 9 and r is 2. So if we want to evaluate 9 over 2, what we're going to have here is 9 factorial over 2 factorial times 9 minus 2 factorial. So that's 9 factorial over 2 factorial times 7 factorial. Counting down from the 9, we know this is 9 times 8 times 7, and everything smaller than 7, we can leave as 7 factorial. The reason I'm leaving that as 7 factorial is because it will cancel with the 7 factorial in the denominator. But we don't have anything left to cancel with the 2 factorial, but 2 factorial is 2 times 1, so we can multiply that out. The 7 factorials cancel, and we have 9 times 8 in the numerator, or we can cancel the 2 with the 8 to leave 4 for a total of 9 times 4, which is 36. So this evaluates to be equal to 36.